The Israeli organization Im Tirtzu announced the launch of a new website listing dozens of Israeli academics who promote BDS and other anti-Israel activity in Israel and abroad. The website, called Know the Anti-Israel Israeli Professor, contains a listing of 150 Israeli professors who are involved in anti-Israel activity, such as promoting BDS, encouraging international pressure on Israel, accusing the IDF of war crimes, and calling to refuse service in the IDF. Eitan Meir, Director of External Relations with Im Tirtzu, joining me in the studio. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, now, Eitan, is there an increase in the number of experts and am academics in Israel who actually choose to attack Israel? Is, there, is, is that number going up? It definitely seems to be going up. Before I address that, I just want to give a general background information on the website. Sure. So like you said, the website called Know the Anti-Israel Israeli Professor provides information on dozens and dozens of Israeli academics. And unfortunately, there's still plenty more to add who engage in a wide a variety of anti-Israel activities, whether it be promoting BDS, accusing the IDF of committing war crimes, you know, of shooting men, women, and children, systematically, as they say, of encouraging draft dodging. And we went ahead, we, what we did is we compiled the list from publicly available sources. We didn't tap anyone's phone. Everything is available online. And we put it online for everyone to see and for everyone to be able to access. So now someone in America or Britain who sees a professor, sees an op-ed by one of these professors, let's say the professor is coming to speak at their son's university, they can now actually know and understand who these people are. And uh, so, for example, last year in Hebrew University, you had a Hebrew University law professor who came to Columbia University in New York and gave a lecture accusing Israel of purposely targeting and, kill and killing Palestinian Arab children in order so they could market their weapons as battle-tested. So uh, now, whoever wants to know who this person is could look at our website and see this is not an objective actor, but she is, in fact, a radical anti-Israel uh, Israeli professor. But in a broader, broader sense, the website comes to really shed light on uh, the phenomenon of BDS from within. When we talk about the international BDS and delegitimization phenomenon, people really think that it, you know, they don't really understand that it, it comes out of nowhere, but it doesn't happen in a vacuum. Someone that wakes up in the morning in New York or Sydney or, uh, or the UK, they don't go ahead and say, wait a second, I want to go ahead and, be, and, per, and uh, boycott Israel. It's a nice thing to do. No, they have to get the information from somewhere. They get their inspiration from somewhere. And a lot of times it's from Israeli academics who go ahead and sign international petitions, who write books, who write op-eds, who write things in academic journals, who give presentations accusing Israel of you know, being an apartheid state that commits genocide and ethnic cleansing. And then the person goes ahead and said, wait a second, this is an Israeli himself who is saying it. And not only an Israeli, an Israeli professor. If they're saying it, it must be true. And there's an ex a famous expression, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But whatever happens in Israel does not stay in Israel. And it's very important for people to understand that. All right. Well, so, you know, don't you worry, you know, where, where's the line? Don't you worry at any point that you may have gone too far in publishing names and pictures of private individuals? You know, is there, is there an issue maybe with, uh, with violating privacy rights or anything like that? So the chutzpah of these radical, holier-than-thou, anti-Israel academics and their supporters is outstanding. What they do is they essentially engage in the most vicious, violent, disgusting attacks on Israel. They accuse uh, Israel of committing war crimes, of shooting innocent men, women, and children. They promote BDS, which is tantamount to the extermination of the Jewish state. They go ahead and accuse Israel of being an apartheid state. They encourage draft dodging. And then when we go ahead and we take all the information that is publicly available, we put it in a nice list, they go ahead and go scream fascism, McCarthyism, Nazism, and that's really chutzpah of the highest order. But at the end of the day, these professors really should be sending us flowers. Why? Because they themselves wrote these things. They themselves published these things, published these articles, wrote these journals yeah, online. Yeah, you're, you're giving them some We're exposure. Giving them exposure, yeah. They should send us gift baskets. I personally love chocolates. But the real thing is, at the end of the day, if someone has a bigger problem with the website than what these professors actually said, they really should check the moral compass. Because the problem is not that we're actually giving a list of things that these professors themselves said, but it's the fact that these professors themselves are doing these things. All right, now, my final question for you is, you know, what motivates Israeli lecturers? Because as you said, you know, these are people mm -hmm. in Israel. What motivates them uh, to voice these anti-Israel views? That's a great question because we get that all the time. And I, I really can't delve into the individual psyche of all these radical academics. What I could say is there's a lot of prestige involved. For example, if you're an average professor, you know, you're not really successful, no one really cares, no one likes to come to your classes. But then all of a sudden you start trashing Israel and you're a celebrity. You get invited to all these conferences. You get invited to all these uh, mm. academic collaborations. People love you. People want to hear about you. Right. So these professors really... They, they like the prestige. Well, it's good for their careers. Well, Itan, I, I want to thank you for the work you're doing and for coming in today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.